Hello everyone, Coaster Brian here. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a look at the Hot Toys video game masterpiece number 15, uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater Naked Snake Sneaking Suit Version. So definitely uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so first I just want to say um, if you do hear any engine noises, um, I do live pretty close to a, a relatively busy street, so I'm sorry if that causes any inconvenience for you while you watch this video. Uh, also, I'm a little sick, so I hope that also doesn't cause any inconveniences for you as well, if my voice is a little weird. Um, but anyway, this is the figure, and here are the accessories down here. Uh, but before we go any further, first, let's just take a look at the instruction sheet. Here it is right here. If you want to read it, please give it a pause. Again, just talking about what to do, where to place certain items, some caution stuff, and how to put the box together. Speaking of the box, here it is. It's very big. It comes flat in the, in the figure box itself. Also comes with some brown tape that you can put on to apply and to give it a shape per the instructions. Next, it does come with six hands, two fisted on the figure and four hands right here that you can use to hold the various guns and other items. Here, he comes with two knives. As you can see, the top one is the survival knife, the or combat knife maybe. The bottom one is the CQC knife. Uh, they're both very good. The blade has that metal paint finish, so it looks pretty good. Uh, and these do go on to the figure, as you will see later in the video. Next is the Claymore Mine. It's a olive green color, has some nice paint wear on it, very nice. If you are patient, you can get it to stand up just like that, but sometimes it may fall, so just bear that in mind. Next, right here, we have the handgun. Uh, it does have the removable suppressor, it goes right back in fairly easily. Uh, it does have a removable magazine with the bullet detail on the top. And it does have that gun action. Mine's a little tight, so I don't want to mess with it too much. But it's a very nice, nice item. Next is the Easy Gun. Very just gunmetal color. Some paint wear. Okay. Here is a pouch that does go on the utility belt. But you will see later on why I have it not on the belt. Um, okay. Here's um, binoculars. You can't see through them, of course. They don't bend, but they're nicely painted and uh, very good looking. Here's a ration. Uh, the top of it has some good detail on the label. It is a sticker uh, and it has a kind of metal finish. It doesn't open, at least for me. It looks like it should, but I don't want a chance opening it and breaking the item. Here are two kind of cylindrical grenades very nice paint detail here's another grenade here kind of like a dark brown reddish color same kind of pen on the other two right here is an a rifle gunmetal color um, not too detailed does have again the removable magazine with the bullet details on the top goes right in with the friction Pretty nice. And last here, we have the machine gun. Again, that gun metal finish has that paint wear. Um, really good detail here. It has the aiming reticle that can go up and down. Right here, this door can open, showing the uh, ammo, the bullets. And this ammo box here is removable. Uh, it comes separated in the box when you buy it. Has some nice paint detail on it there and again you kind of just slot it in to the gun and then just close the door and it has the strap on it as well so yeah it's a very nice piece to display with the figure again a lot of accessories you have here that you can use uh, to display with the figure uh, but next now we'll take a look at the figure itself and go over the details of naked snake all right, so now we're going to look at Snake, but first, 
Let's take a quick look at his stand. One good thing about this figure is that it has a pretty good job with standing on its own. Uh, so here is the base. It's the old style oval base for Hot Toys figures. It just has that printing on. It says Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. Um, and of course the nameplate, again, there's no, no metal nameplate, just printed on. It says Naked Snake Sneaking Suit Version. And then your typical uh, figure stand post here. Okay. Now, with the figure... Uh, first impressions of it, it is a very nice piece. The, the tailoring on the sneaking suit is very well done. This figure did come out in 2012. I did buy this figure, uh, I guess you could say use. I'm not the first owner of this figure. Uh, and even then, either the previous owner really took care of it or the material they used for it holds up pretty well. Um, first, take a look at the head sculpt here. The uh, very famous features of Snake, the bandana, you have the eye patch. Uh, very quickly on the back, uh, the bandana, you can rotate. Um, it rotates here at the kind of knot. And it has full, you can go full rotation if you want to hang them upside down. Um, but it is articulated there. Uh, I'm not going to show much articulation for the figure, um, but I will let you know which parts of the figure are hindered uh, due to the outfit uh, and such. Um, as I said, I did buy this figure um, secondhand. So here, there should be a radio. Uh, mine, as you can see, does not have it. So this piece here is kind of just dangling this wire so i just kind of hide it away also in his ear i believe you can kind of see some black paint in there i do believe a radio piece is also supposed to go in there um but uh, mine does not have that um here is the knife casing for the cqc knife which is this one here it does go in but again, it is very thin, and due to the body, it kind of, it, I would think it may bend that knife over time, so be careful if you do wish to display the knife in the case. So yeah, the uh, the material for this outfit is kind of like a leathery material, um, a little bit poofy, I guess, to resemble that sneaking um, outfit. It has some of that CCCP detail here. See him on the other side. Here is another kind of leathery material. Of course, this is where the elbow joint is. So over time, as you bend it, it will leave marks like this. But I don't mind because naturally the suit will have that kind of wear and tear in real life. So I don't mind that. And of course, here's the, the back of the upper body. You can see in the, the main chest area, there is this kind of rubber... Um, suit kind of a rubber maybe like, like a plasticky rubber i wouldn't know how to classify it but you really don't get much ab articulation uh because of that and it does go down uh the whole way of course the sides you see it is open but uh you're not going to get any kind of ab articulation uh, with this outfit uh, as it is these straps are movable so they're not fixed on the figure. As you can see, this one's already kind of fallen over. Um, so these do move. Um, you can rearrange. I have them crossing. You can have it where it's just over each shoulder, not crossing in the back. That's just up to you on how you want to display. Now, next, here we have this, uh, I guess you'll call a utility belt. And you can see the variety of pouches on the belt. Now, here... Right here is where that water canteen pouch I had would have been. And I have taken it off because as you can see here, there is some minor imperfections or damage due to the, the bottom parts right there digging into the suit. So I removed that. Thankfully, there's no ripping or there's no tearing, but... Um, I did take it off because I don't want that to continue. 
and any of these pouches you can take off as well. It's on the instructions on how to remove them. Um, but nonetheless, it is very nice. Uh, right here is the handgun pouch. Uh, I've tried to put the handgun in myself. Uh, the gun will fit, but I have never been able to close this over it. So maybe some other people have better luck. But for me, I don't want a chance uh, causing any stress or damage to the, uh, the holster piece here. Now, as you continue uh, down the figure, same material, just like the arms here, you have that gray leather and then this black over the knee joint. Uh, there is these kind of pieces um, on the outfit. Um, I do like that orange color. It does definitely give a, a break than just the gray and the black. It definitely makes the, the figure stand out more. Um, going down to the feet. Now, these feet have zero articulation. They can rotate, and that is it. Uh, that's why the figure can stand pretty good on its own, because you're not going to have to worry about the figure wanting to lean forward or backwards because of loose ankle joints. It basically has no ankle joints. So bear that in mind if you're looking to get this figure to put into some dynamic poses. It's not going to do any of that. Um, I don't mind, uh, but some of you may want to have him where he's in a kind of crouched uh, stealth uh, crawling or uh, kind of walking as you would see in the game, but he's not going to really be able to do that, I think, without a stand or something to help him. Now here, this is the holster for the combat knife. You can see here. Um, now, the holster itself is very nice. It's made of like the, the leather or the fake leather they use uh, for a lot of the figures. But one big issue I had with this figure was this right here, and this is this tape. I don't know what kind of tape it is. Maybe it's like a 3M kind of tape, I don't know. But if you look very closely, you'll see that kind of dark brown color on the top or on the sides where the tape kind of ends and starts. That was almost all over the boot uh, of the figure. So I had to take everything off, give it a nice clean, uh, and then try to reapply the tape the best I could, which it looks, I think, pretty well. I think you wouldn't even know I took it off. But please be aware that if you buy it, even new in the box, I'm not sure how well uh, this would last. Um, but if it gets moved, this these tape can move pretty easily. As you can kind of see, I'm doing it already. Um, and you'll have that adhesive, that sticky, uh, material from the tape just go all over the boot and it doesn't damage the the boot or the paint but it will be on there so just please be aware of that if you're looking to get the figure uh, but other than that I think this figure is an excellent piece uh, if you're a fan of the Metal Gear franchise I think this is a must-have um, there's only this and the boss in the and Metal Gear Solid 3 line for the Hot Toys uh, figures for Metal Gear. Comes with a lot of accessories that you will use. And yeah, uh, besides not being able to get some dynamic poses out of it, um, I think it's still an excellent piece that any Metal Gear fan should have. So thank you everyone for watching the video. Please leave a like, please leave a comment on what you think, what I can do to improve, or what your favorite Metal Gear Solid games are. And then please hit the uh, subscribe button, hit the notification bell. I'm just starting this channel, um, but over time, I'm looking to do some more reviews and some more kinds of videos on the my interests that um, I want to share with you. So yeah, again, thank you very much. This has been, again, the review for the Hot Toys Naked Snake figure. Um, hope to get some more videos out soon and I hope you will be uh, eager to watch them. So take care, have a good day, and bye-bye.